What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys the Legion Faction Tier 1 Mission Guide for Season 2. This one does consist of seven total missions. Out of the first six, you'll have to complete five of them in order to unlock that final story mission. Once you complete that, you will unlock Tier 2 for the Legion Faction. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or you find this video helpful in any way, make sure to show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 100 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you just do hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss your future videos. First up, we have Investigative. It's going to be two parts, and part one is asking you to travel to El Saf Quarry. Now, obviously, you should be able to open the map and see where the locations of the POIs are, so it shouldn't be too hard to actually identify the quarry. You just need to go over there, or maybe you get lucky enough to spawn there, and this part will be completed. Part two is going to have you travel to the airport in the same deployment. So after going to the quarry or having maybe spawned there, you're going to then want to travel all the way over to the opposite side of the map, basically, and hit up the airport. You just have to get in range to where it actually says at the top of the screen the name of the POI, so the airport, and this part will be complete. I do want to mention real quick, though, that I did spawn at the airport first and then went to the quarry, so initially did it backwards and still counted. Just do them in the same deployment and you won't have any issue. Next up, we have create a class. This one is going to be a two-parter. Part one's asking you to infill with a customized insured weapon, so you do have three insured weapon slots. You may not have them all unlocked. You're essentially going to select one of your favorite weapons or one of the top weapons to use, put some great attachments on it and infill with this weapon and this part will be completed. Once you spawn into the DMZ, it basically just checks this part off. Second part is asking you to extract with your customized insured weapon. Now, basically, once you've infilled with it, you're leaving with the weapon successfully at the end and this part will be complete. A really easy way to do this, basically, if you're just trying to check off the challenge or the mission without having to you know, complete a full run, would be to essentially just spawn in, maybe go hit up a hostage rescue contract, the contract with the handcuffs on it, complete that contract in exfil with the hostage and essentially you'll get this done pretty quickly. You could even do it in maybe under five minutes if you can get to one of those contracts fast enough. Next up we have health conscious. This one is a three-parter and it is very similar to something we did in season one. First part's asking you to loot a medicine cabinet. It's important to note that these are the ones that are like the mirrors. They're found all over Almazra in the bathrooms. Most of the buildings, if they have a bathroom, which they should, should have a medicine cabinet. Basically just loot it and this part will be complete. Part two is asking you to extract one IFAK. This is new to season two. They can be found in medicine cabinets, first aids. And my biggest recommendation for going for these is just to go hit up a hospital or two. I do have a video on the channel on all the hospital locations and they didn't change for season two. So you guys can definitely reference that in order to find the IFAK. The third part is asking you to extract two bandages. I'm pretty confident that if you loot a few medicine cabinets, you should be able to find the bandages. But similar to the IFAK, if you guys are having a hard time finding these, just go hit up a couple of the hospital locations and you guys should be able to get those no problem. Next up, we have key elimination. This one is going to be a three parter and it does involve a contract. Part one's asking you to complete and eliminate HVT contract. This is the high value target. If you open your TAC map, it's going to be the contract phone with the crosshair on it. Just go over to that contract, pick it up. It's going to send you to a location to eliminate a specific HVT or high value target like we said. It's going to be pretty easy to differentiate them from the other enemies as they're wearing different clothing. Just take them down, run over to their body, and the contract will be completed, completing part one. Part two is asking you to loot a key found on an HVT or elsewhere. Anytime you eliminate an HVT, they drop a special key for one of the locations across the map. Just pick that guy up and this part will be complete. It is important to note if you pick up a stronghold key card while you are working on this mission, it will also count towards part two and you won't even have I had to complete part one for part two to count. Part three is asking you to use a key to unlock a locked space or locked cache. Now, this is going to be a little bit more tricky than it was in season one, or at least it was for me, as in season one, you were able to use a stronghold key card to open up a stronghold and it actually counted for part three. But this season, at least for me, it did not work. So I actually had a Mawazah Marsh key to open the resort. So I went over to the resort towards the end of my run and actually opened the door. I didn't even actually go inside. I just unlocked the door. So basically just find a key card of one of the main locations. It'll probably be one of the easier ones. Or if you happen to find one of the ones that you actually know where the location of it is. Next up, we have frame job. This one's going to be a three parter. Part one's asking you to purchase an LTV with a turret at a shop. If you go to your closest shop or buy a station, you will notice these are available for 18,000. My favorite way to actually come up with the money is to go hit up a destroy supplies contract. Because once you actually plant the bomb at each of the locations and they explode, it will complete the contract, giving you some access to some nearby locations or some safes. You go over to one of the safes, you complete it. By that time, you should have more than enough money to purchase the LTV. You go back over to your buy station, you make that purchase, and part one will be complete. Part two is going to ask you to use the LTV turret to kill 15 enemies in Almazra City. 
You do not have to be the actual one in the turret. Even if you're driving, it will count. So you just go over to Almazra City, find some enemies roaming the streets, eliminate 15 of them, and this part will be completed. Part three is asking you to destroy the LTV and Mawazab Marsh. So once you've completed eliminating those 15 enemies at the neighboring place of Almazra City, you'll go over to the marsh with the LTV that you originally purchased, because if it's not the same one you purchased, this will not count, and you're going to destroy it. I mean, by the time you get there, it'll obviously have taken some damage. It shouldn't take a ton of bullets in order to blow it up. But if you have a Semtex or a launcher, it could be significantly faster. But once you destroy it over there in Mawazah Marsh, this part will be complete. Next up, we have Buried Barrels. This one's going to be a two-parter. Part one's asking you to complete a secure radioactive material contract. Essentially, if you open up that TAC map, you're going to be looking for the contract zone with the nuclear symbol on it. Once you go over and grab that, it's going to send you to a toolbox to pick up a Geiger counter, which sends you to two general areas in order to use the Geiger counter to find the radioactive stash. You're going to open that. There's going to be a nuclear rod in it that you need to pick up from each of them. Once you've done that, this contract will be complete and part one will be finished. Now, part two is going to go along with completing part one, essentially. Part two is asking you to take four items from the radioactive caches. Between the two caches, there should be more than four items. So just make sure you pull four items out into your backpack and part two will be complete. Next up, we have our last and final mission, Muddy Waters. This one is going to be three parts and it is taking you over to Ashka Island. Part one is asking you to find and extract the Shadow Company USB stick from Ashka Island Beach Club Observatory deck. So if you look in the Beach Club area on the southern part of the map, there's like a long dock that goes to a little round building out in the water. That round building on the backside in the water is where you actually need to be. You're going to swim down on the backside. And there's going to be a little entrance to a room, basically through a window. You're going to swim in there, swim to the toolbox, open it. It should have that USB stick you're looking for. You just essentially need to successfully expel with this stick and this part will be complete. Part two is asking you to find and extract the Ashka Island Intel from the underground waterway. This one's gonna be significantly more difficult to get to than the first location as you're gonna to have to clear out most of the waterway to get to where the actual Intel is. You have to go all the way to where the submarine is deep in the waterways. You're gonna to need to clear that area out. This is also where the dead drop location is. So near that submarine and the dead drop is a cargo crate, little thing you can go into. You're gonna basically walk into there and on the floor will be your Ashka Island Intel that you need. And then you obviously need to successfully exfil with that item. But once you do, this part will be complete. Part three is asking you to find and extract the crown intel from Ashka power plant. Now the power plant is not marked on the map, but of course I will show you. But it is going to be a stronghold location where this intel is found. So it's likely that you're going to need a stronghold key card in order to actually get in there. If you can't get in there, how are you going to get the intel? But once you clear it in here, on the main desk is going to be the intel that you need or behind the main desk on the floor. And you guys should be able to pick this up again it's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to exfil successfully in order for it to be finished but once you do this part will be complete and you do not have to do all three of these in the same match but once you complete each of these parts and exfil each of these items this will complete tier one of legion and you will have unlocked tier two but that's going to wrap things up for our mission guide for tier one of legion here in season two thank you guys for all the support in today's video all the support in the channel and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one peace